Hey everyone, this is Mikhail Zulfikar and you are watching Momina's Mix Plate. Stay tuned for my interview and hit the subscribe button. Hi guys, welcome back to Momina's Mix Plate. The, the most interesting thing that I have been kind of like viewing in 2019 has been that a lot of our celebrities have become very very entrepreneurial so with Urvain Mavra starting off their own clothing brand UXM, uh, Atika Ojo with her uh, makeup line, uh, Hadika Kayani with her salon but well, I'm sitting at a brand new salon which has been opened by model actor Mikal Zulfikar and it is called Headlines which is in Phase 5 uh, DHA Lahore so if you're here do check it out uh, I don't think Mikhail Zulfikar really needs an introduction. I think he has done wonderfully in his uh, career. And I can't wait to speak to him about all things about his salon and like a bit about his career, some hump style awards uh, that took place in uh, Houston. And there's a really fun segment that I'm doing with him in which he's going to be guessing the dialogues from all iconic Hollywood films. So let's see how uh, Mikhail fares on. And before we welcome him on, you guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you can be part of the moment as a mixed paid family. And let's welcome on Mikhail Zulfikar. Hey, 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 hey. Welcome to Headlines. Yeah, <laughs> you're making headlines. Well, you know, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Okay, first, first of all, before I get into my first segment, the name. Yeah. How do you come up with the name? Like headlines. Like it's such a non salony name. Well, it has head in it. You know, I the first head word is head. <laughs> and line also. Yeah, exactly. In fact, the logo, you know, you see the kind of lines in it. I was like, it almost gives like a ball cutting wali ball cutting. feel. I don't know. Maybe ball cutting, that's a new word. Ball cutting. Ball cutting. Have ball you ever cutting heard that feels it. Yeah, nea lahori term. Please have some likhle. Ball cutting But when you're starting something new, obviously, you know, you come up with uh, numerous names, you know, yeah. and you. So there was a list of things and I don't know, it just made sense. What were the other contenders? Um... I actually don't remember. <laughs> no, they weren't that good. <laughs> even when I was uh, starting off, uh, uh, Momina's Mix Play, yeah, like yeah. there were a plethora obviously, of obviously, names. Obviously. We started off from the verdict. The verdict, ooh. And ended up. That's at, a bit too serious. I know, yeah. everybody said they're like, Tum, I would have been. <laughs> are you starting a legal channel? Momna ki adalat. Okay, so my first segment is called Guess the Dialogue. Alright. So, on my phone here, I have translated five this should be fun. iconic Hollywood all right. dialogues okay. which are very very popular okay. and guys this is also a test for you all mm. and you have to not only like say the exact accurate dialogue okay. but you also have to tell the film. What happens if I get it wrong? <laughs> all right. Number one, Itte Sanjida Kyu. Why so serious? Uh, Batman. Dark Knight. Dark Knight, yeah. right. but it was Batman. That right? was Batman, yeah. you got okay, the thing. Okay. Okay. Why so serious? 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 When I, when I thought I'm out, they pulled me back. When I thought I'm out, they pulled me back. When I thought I'm out, they pulled me back. Yeah. I don't know the film though. <laughs> Godfather. Oh, okay, okay. It was like an iconic Godfather. Oh, okay. Godfather 3. Ha ha ha. This is a lot of fun. So it's 1-1? One, one? Do you get that point? No, I don't get a point. Okay, you fine. just lose the point. <laughs> so I'm back to zero. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, no, no, you're 1. Oh, I'm still 1. You're okay, one. that's good, that's good. 1 out of 2. Okay, fine. Uh, mera Kimti. Mera Kimti. My Precious. My precious. My precious. What is that from? My precious. Shit, what is that from? My DOP is like mouthing it out to you right now. <laughs> this is cheating. The ring? Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, yeah. <laughs> that was Emma. Emma gets the point. You don't get this point. But of course, I mean, it, you know, just my mind went blank for a second. Yeah, my precious. See, I'm acting it out. Don't I get points for that? I think I acted better. That's fine. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Great. I'll give you so I get point. half a point, right? 1.5. 1.5. Out of 3. I'm still halfway. Yes, okay. okay fine. I'm just a girl standing in front of a girl. I'm just a girl standing in front of a guy asking him to love me. Yeah. 
Oh God, what is this from? <laughs> I'm just a girl standing in front of a guy asking him for something. Okay, I'm not going to waste your time. Go ahead. Notting Hill, yeah. Yeah. Julia Roberts. Yeah, I was going to say I was going to say it's either Julia Roberts or uh, um, forget it. <laughs> there was no other one. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was one. Like, uh, uh, what's her name? Drew Barrymore, I thought, for some reason, I don't know, but really? yeah, yeah. Uh, but I thought uh, Julia But not, this is ex- uh, like Notting Hill, yeah, Notting when Hill. she's standing at the door. Yeah, right? See. exactly. So maybe 0.75 points? No. Okay. No. Half a point? I Half completed, point the, I completed the, the dialogue, completed the dialogue before dialogue you even has, said it. Huh. Yeah, yeah, so you get the dialogue, so I give okay, you half no. a point. Okay, fine. So he two. has two points. Two out of four. Two out of four. Half and half. No, bad. <laughs> Last one is the easiest. Okay, go ahead. Okay, it's actually the easiest. It was like, I even when I put it down, I was like, okay, this is, I'm just being stupid now. I'm the king of the world! Oh. Titanic. Yeah! Yeah, come on. Come on. <laughs> so okay. three out of five, that's Three out of five, not bad, Decent. not bad, no. So according to Wikipedia, you have six siblings, but in reality, you only have well, three. <laughs> well, I mean, the only three I know of, you know. I don't know what my mom and dad have been up to. I, I, I know, what are, who are these other? <laughs> mom, dad. <laughs> what <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, three I know of, you know. Three that you know of. And they're enough. Yeah. They're enough. Two older sisters and a younger brother, it's, it's okay. quite enough. Yeah. So, the three that are slightly nondescript, let's leave mm. them out. And mm. the three that we know of. Okay, <laughs> 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 Well, yeah, my, my eldest is Anissa. She's, uh, she lives in Singapore. Okay. And she was in Australia before this. She's uh, a businesswoman. She works with Pearson's, which is a mm. book company. Yeah. And she heads their South Asian division. Uh, I don't know if it's marketing or if she's just like the general head. I don't ask okay. uh, then, there's, then there's Mariam, my second sister. She is a curator in London. Okay. Um, very super smart, super intelligent. Doesn't watch TV or films. Just reads books oh, that's all the awesome. time. Yeah. And, uh, and whenever I have a problem or I have anything, you know, she's I'm the, I'm close. To, I'm very close to all of them, but I'm closest to Mariam, I think. Okay. And yeah, so um, I love it a bit. And then there's my younger brother, who's uh, also an actor and a okay. singer. His name is Jamal. He works in the West End in London. Yeah, yeah, I, and, I read that about him. And uh, he's coming out with a, a music album uh, in 2020. Oh, that's so, amazing. Yeah, he's my retirement plan. He's your retirement plan. <laughs> <laughs> when all hell goes to fail. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hopefully, he's going to be uh, really, really big and uh, I can retire. Yeah, and then and you just, can retire you know, and just like live He can off carry on the... Yeah, the family legacy. The, yeah, well... I just, so tell me more about like your like family dynamic. I mean, like, not only that, like, like fun stories from your childhood. Yeah, lots. I mean, you know, uh, 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 incidentally, Mariam, who I'm closest to now, I used to fight with the most. And huh. uh, we used to have like violent fights, right? You know, like literally trying to kill, like we Mark literally wanted I... to k- kill each other. Oh. You know, and any mocha we could find, we'd, you know, try and make the most of it. And there's a very funny story in which Ghar mein construction and I must have been maybe eight, nine or ten, mm. you know, and she's just, just two years older to me. Younger, actually. No, she's older, but <laughs> let's call her younger. So she feels Achha, better. Okay. So she, so feels, she feels better, better yeah. So, yeah, she, there were some like little blocks lying, lying around. And we were playing catch-catch with blocks. Yeah, it's dumb already, I know, but we were. And she threw the block high in the air and I was like, I got it, I got it. And it went right in my head like Kona. And like literally my head opened up and it started ah! bleeding. So we were playing games, but I took full advantage. And I went up to my mom and oh, she tried to kill me and she threw the, you know, so yeah, she was in a lot of trouble. And so I totally I got sympathy. Poor thing. So I there's, feel there's bad those for stories, her. yeah. There's those, lots okay, of those stories. I don't stories. know if I want to know more. Yeah, They're I violent. was very accident prone as well. I used to fall over a lot and hurt myself really? all the time, yeah. yeah. Asha, I recently saw um, an Insta story uh, and my, a friend of mine's Insta story and you were at his house like jamming with him. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you enjoy music? I do that. Well. Actually, I, I wanted to be a musician, actually. I wanted to be a singer. When, when I started my career, I was with Ricky Martin and Enrique Iglesias. Yes. And I, you know. Living la vida loca. loca. Yeah, I mean, that's actually, what I... Actually, there's a guy. No, I'm not going to listen to that. No, I'm not going to listen to that. I mean, I've seen your like, jamming thing on Insta story. I might as well hear it live. With a guitar. With a guitar. No guitar. No guitar. No guitar. Guitar's not necessary. What do I do now? What? Living la vida loca is the same. Upside inside, inside out. out Living la vida loca She push and pull oh, you down, down. She living la vida yeah. loca Woo. Woo-hoo. <laughs> Okay, so guitar I believe is your Yeah, guitar, I mean, yeah, as I said, I wanted to um, I wanted to be a singer and, yeah. uh, But I'm an actor, so But yeah. I mean, you can be pretty much anything That happens yeah. in life, yeah But I, you know, I still, whenever I'm, I do one of these jam sessions all 
people who don't know why they're like, oh, you're so good. Why don't you do it? And, you know, I'm like, and then I get pumped every time. I'm like, even last night actually. Last night um, I was at Ali Zafar's. Okay. And um, in fact, I will share that little clip with you. Maybe okay. You can share and I can put it up. Yeah, because I'll put it up. A, there's, there's a little clip you could you could put that. So we were jamming at his house. Okay. He's got a lovely basement. Yeah, he, yeah, he yeah. Does this, you know, yeah. these live sessions and all. Mm. So yeah, I mean, any any moment I I get to flaunt my Musical, musical talent, talent yeah, you do it. I do. I okay. Do. <laughs> Shamelessly. That's brilliant. And I would like to see you on screen doing that. Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's I have doing two, two on air right now yeah. actually. One is called Ramzesh. Uh -huh. That's on Geo. Yeah. And the other one is called Ruswai, Ruswai. which is on uh, ARY. ARY. Yeah. And that's about the, the, the rape victim. Yeah, Ruswai is 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 um, is more of a kind of social uh, topic, whereas uh, Ramzesh is more of a family drama. Family drama. Um, and Ruswai has been getting uh, a lot of great feedback and. Yeah. Um, um, you know, the, the last few episodes have been extremely emotional because the rape has happened, and uh, so it deals with uh, my love interest, who I've got nikah fight to, Rukhsiti Nui, and while the nikah happens, she's been raped. So my character is going through a very tricky. Um, I mean, he is. It's not that he's not supportive, and you know, obviously, it's not her fault, but you know, there's still a lot of complications. That come with it. That come with it, and and it's, it's you know so it's Sana's character as well, who's done a phenomenal job. In fact, uh, she's a fantastic. Yeah, actress. just a few weeks back, there was uh, the fifth episode, which was mm. so emotional. Even although we do it ourselves, yeah. you know, I was watching it and I was in tears the whole episode. No, but I mean, um, the, like our dramas, I feel like they are, s I think, over time that we've kind of brought in that kind of gravitas to our dramas, which. I mean, I think I our mean, films are I still lacking. It's, it's the one thing that we've mastered. We've mastered it. You There's know, nobody dramas, like good drama, yeah. 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 And I think, I think the way we do, I think, you know, and, and I think the reason for that is because they're very real. Very real. You know, they're they're very subtle. Our performances are subtle as well. They're not over the top. Yeah. Um, so there's a very realistic feel to it. So I think people can relate to it, and, yeah. and I think that's why they catch on. So I mean, before we uh, wrap up, uh, salon. So headlines. Tell me a little bit about how did you a come up with the whole thing? Are you Really well, into I, grooming yourself? Yeah, like of course. I mean, you know, I mean, a um, it is amazing to have your own salon. Yeah. You know, I just come here, get all sorts of treatments. I've got a fabulous team. Uh, but nee, more so than that, um, you know, I um, over the last uh, you know 15 plus years and and all of, I've grown up in salons. Yeah. You know, and uh, there is a huge difference with salon between salon treatment and a barber shop. Yeah. You know, and I wanted to bring a product which is available to to the masses. Yeah. You know. At slightly more affordable rates than other salons provide here mm -hmm. in, in in Lahore and and, and especially and for men because there I think apart there I think uh, apart from this one there are only two other exactly exactly three maybe yeah that are so, centric so, around men yeah I mean I mean for men because that's my uh, you know I mean um, that's my fan base as well and and I get a lot of guys asking me okay you know how do you make hair or how do you do how do you what's your grooming thing you know how do you look yeah. after yourself so you know I wanted to bring a product which they can utilize. Mm. And you know, over the years, um, I've worked with amazing uh, stylists and, and 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 people, and so I've I've put them together. You know, I've 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 hired them, 
Oh, and, that's amazing. Yeah, and so, so basically, it's people you've kind of worked with, and yeah, they kind of like yeah, brought exactly. them together. We've got some new, 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 new people as well. Um, some junior stylists, yeah. but you know, most of our senior staff is people I've worked with, and, and I knew were very good. Yeah. So you know, I kind of wanted to bring them forward as well, and uh, we've got some amazing products. Um, you know, and I wanted to open up a men-centric. Um, a place where men can come and you know enjoy pamp themselves, pamper and, themselves. Yeah. and they deserve and men are really into personal grooming now and you're looking after themselves and inshallah this is this is our flagship outlet um, but the plan is to broaden it out and take it all over Pakistan yeah and have you know maybe express versions in smaller cities yeah where people can get salon treatment uh, but not at salon prices yeah uh, and then uh, I mean with this journey actually started out from was a product line I wanted to start a product line of my own, okay. um, which was initially actually catered to maybe a body spray and a perfume. Um, but now we're obviously with, this, with, with headlines and once we do broaden out and, and have more branches, we're inshallah going to be coming out with our own product. Uh, which That's incredible. Be, yeah, which and like, are you coming up with like similar, like either like a yeah, body like, sprays or like for yeah, so air. so body spray and 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 and, and, and cologne and then you know uh, everything you know we we we're, we're doing testings right now and. And, and That's fantastic. Deve developing stuff. And so under the, the umbrella of headlines? Under the umbrella of headlines, yeah. So it's so the whole headlines. Mikal Zulfiqar well, package. Well, hopefully, yeah. This, is, this, this too, uh, other than my younger brother, this too is my retirement plan. This is your <laughs> <laughs> You have many retirement plans. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, because you know, you never know what's going to work. And you what's never going, know. So. You actually don't know. <laughs> but anyways, Mikal, thank you so much for like pleasure, having me pleasure. at your salon. No, it's a, all yeah. the welcome best anytime. Food. Thanks. And you can come and get services anytime you like. Why do you want me to chop my hair like yours? <laughs> <laughs> my uh, my my staff is also trained uh, to do women's okay. haircuts as well. Done. Although I've uh, strictly told not to, but not to do it. You but can, I will definitely but you come. Can. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much and all the best because it's looking fantastic and I believe you have a new film that you're starting work on Yes, now. yes, yes. And uh, uh, the We cast can probably, yeah, by the time this airs, so I can probably talk about it. Yeah, we have a wonderful cast. Yeah. So it, this is called Money Back Guarantee. Yeah. It's written by Faisal Qureshi, who uh, is a very good actor and director. Yep. He's part of our Uphone team. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I know the Uphone campaign was um, extremely successful. Successful. So this film is going to be like, you know, uh, like the Uphone campaign, we have a wonderful cast. Egg. Yeah, so you guys stay tuned and we'll have more updates about this film uh, coming up as the film is uh, being shot. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for taking show. out time. Fun. I know yeah. you've been very busy yeah. and you're starting recording like, I'm mean, actually you'll be in recording once this airs. It, I will be. So yeah. I mean, you're yeah. Maybe flying there'll, out. there'll be more news out yes. by that time as well. Inshallah. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the segment. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you can be part of the Moment as Mixed Break family. If you have any questions for Mikal Zulfikar, please let me know in the comments below and I'll try to get them answered from him. Until next time then, take care.